Hi Pisces, this is your February mid-month tarot reading. We'll have three separate spreads in this mid-month reading. We'll have a spread on new love, a separate spread on love in an existing relationship or marriage, and at the end I'll do love from the past, aka the X spread. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. Happy birthday to those of you Pisces who are celebrating in February. I hope this uh, year that's coming up for you is going to be prosperous, loving, and uh, you'll get whatever it is you've been manifesting. Um, so this first part is a new love in uh, the second half of February. We have uh, the Page of Cups clarified by the Page of Pentacles. We have uh, the King of Pentacles clarified by the Ace of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups. In the uh, potential outcome, we have the Wheel of Fortune with Temperance and the Six of Pentacles, and we also have the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or Sagittarius, or pretty much any zodiac sign. I usually go with a King or a Queen if one or both show up. And yeah, we got both. We got the King of Pentacles, and we got you, the Queen of Cups. Male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. So the King of Pentacles, the third card from the left, it could be an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or somebody with a lot of Earth in their chart. Um, if they're not an Earth sign, they could be somebody who is a, an entrepreneur, somebody who uh, runs their own business, or somebody who works for a financial institution. For some of you, it could be one of the two people. Because uh, I do see, for some of you, you're dealing with two people, right? But but most of you, I think, are dealing with just one person. That would be the King of Pentacles, right? We actually start off with two pages. The Page of Cups, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. Again, for those of you dealing with two people, those pages belong to those two different suitors. For some of you, if you are a single parent, they could also be a single parent. Those pages could be children, so perhaps you're meeting this person at a children's playground or an after-school something, like a theater class they're taking together, <laughs> or a karate class they're taking together, or what have you. Right? But uh, if you're dealing with just one person and if there's no kids, then uh, they're going to be all over you, you know? Those two pages represent this person doing all kinds of things for you because they are trying to impress you and most importantly because they are in love with you, right? Uh, the King of Pentacles is classified by the, by the Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is all about genuine, authentic love, right? That's how they feel towards you. And uh, the Page of Cups could be them being super nice to you, sending you flowers. With the Page of Pentacles, it could be them getting tickets to a show or a game or a concert or taking you out to a fancy restaurant and obviously paying for it. So yeah, again, if you're dealing with two people, two pages. If you're dealing with one person, this person is going to be all over you, <laughs> right? Yeah, uh, we have you, the Queen of Cups, in the middle. And it's, uh, I always like when a king and a queen uh, show up in the same reading, right? That means both of you are two mature individuals, they, and uh, you could be 25, 45, 55, doesn't matter to me. That means you're vibing on a similar level, the king and the queen level. That means you both of you are getting, you're, you're ready for something serious. Speaking of serious, in the potential outcome, we have the Wheel of Fortune with Temperance and the Six of Pentacles. What's interesting is that the, both the Wheel of Fortune and Temperance could be a Sagittarius card, right? So perhaps if you're dealing with two people, one of them could be a Sagittarius. But um, the Wheel of Fortune is a start of a cycle, right? It's a very fortunate cycle. It's a major arcana card. That's what's on the table. That's what this person really wants with you. And that's why they're throwing everything they've got at you with those pages and the Ace of Cups, right? Temperance could be a Sag card, but at the same time, Temperance is a card of somebody who is not in a hurry. You see how the, um, the deity or the angel in a Temperance card pouring uh, liquid from one cup to another, back and forth, back and forth. This person is... Uh, the, the card is talking about just, you know, take it easy, don't rush into anything, remain calm, right? The Six of Pentacles uh, right next to the deck could be a card of a choice, all right? I don't, it's partially blocked, but there's three people in the Six of Pentacles. One of them is standing up, standing in the middle, and there's two people sitting down. So if you're choosing between two people, that makes total sense. And that's why perhaps you're taking, taking it slow, because you don't want to rush into it. You don't want to make any big mistakes. Right. For others of you, the Six of Pentacles, if you're dealing with one person, it's a card of an equal give and take. Very balanced out type of a connection. All right. Um, the Nine of Cups on the bottom of the deck, I think that would, would also be you. 
right? The nine of the person in the in the nine of cups. I think that's you sitting down, you know, enjoying yourself, enjoying the show, enjoying all the attention. No matter how many people you're dealing with. Right? You are not in a hurry. That's the vibe I'm picking up from you. No matter what the scenario is, if you're dealing with one or two people, you're still taking your time. Perhaps you like the chase. <laughs> you like all the attention and you're extending uh, this uh, satisfaction of uh, this person or these people doing, you know, trying to get your full and undivided attention. So yeah, this is one interesting reading. Um, Pisces, you definitely have at least one person who is uh, in love with you, who is doing all kinds of things for you. If you're dealing with two people, then I think both people will be all over you, trying to win you over. Right? Interesting reading, right? So I think it's it's a good time to be Pisces. <laughs> all right, really happy for you. Congratulations. Pisces, if you'd like to see the extended for this new love spread, the link is in the description box down below. In the extended, I'll do a couple of more spreads, maybe three spreads. We'll take a look at what to expect between you and uh, this King of Pentacles, or between you and uh, people <laughs> you have surrounding you, and uh, we'll get you an advice for this whole situation. Pisces, if you are already married or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the Ace of Cups, uh, clarified by the Page of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Cups, the Four of Pentacles, and we have the Empress on the bottom of the deck. This is one interesting spread, uh, Pisces. Um, the, the Empress on the, on the bottom of the deck, that's probably you, right? <laughs> Not that we're questioning it, but the, the Empress is either a mother figure or it's a wife or a significant other figure or, or both, right? And um, yeah, the page of pentacles all the way to your left, I find the ace of cups. I don't know if you have children or not. The page of pentacles could be a, um, a kid. So perhaps if you do have a child or children, perhaps uh, your kid and your husband, your significant other, they will prepare something for St. Valentine's Day. Right, because we got the Ace of Cups and the Knight of Cups, right? That's just a lot of love coming your way, by the way. A lot. <laughs> so you should probably sit down and prepare. And uh, the Ace of Cups could be coming from your child, and uh, the Knight of Cups could be coming from your significant other, right? And uh, they're going to do something very special for the St. Valentine's Day. Or if you don't have kids, then. Uh, your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, they still prepared something big, something major, right? Again, with the Ace and the Knight of Cups, just so, so much love. The Page of Pentacles could be something tangible, something you can touch, all right? For those of you, if this is your birthday, <laughs> perhaps that's what this whole commotion is about. It could be both, St. Valentine's Day and then your birthday that follows up. So the Ace of Cups could be for the St. Valentine's, the Knight of Cups could be for your birthday, if your birthday is in February. Yeah, <laughs> lucky, lucky Pisces, if you got birthday in your February, in February, right? But yeah, with the Fourth Pentacles right next to the deck, I think this is you uh, accepting uh, whatever it is that's coming your way. You see how in the Four of Pentacles the person is holding on to a pentacle, right? And uh, in the Page of Pentacles uh, the person is offering a pentacle. So a pentacle is offered, the, the uh, pentacle is accepted. Okay, so I think you've got an interesting couple of weeks coming your way. Lots of love, presence, attention, and all that good stuff. <laughs> Alright? Cool. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Pisces, in the second half of February. Uh, keep in mind, it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, or a year ago, or a couple of years ago, so it doesn't have to be the most recent ex. So we got this, we got this uh, Page of Cups, <laughs> clarified by the King of Wands. Uh, we have uh, the Ten of Swords, the Tower, and the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Yeah, you got this King of Wands coming back with an apology with that Page of Cups, but... You are definitely not accepting this apology. As a matter of fact, you're going to tell them to shove it. You can take that apology and shove it. Right? I would have not used such a harsh word, <laughs> Pisces, um, if I didn't see the Ten of Swords and this tower. I think that's your reaction towards, towards this person. You're going to unleash some Pisces fury on them. I think you'll even be furious with them, right? You'll be like, you had... You actually had the audacity to show your face after what you did to me. And uh, then, 
And then you're going to send them back to the past, where they belong. They did break your heart with the Three of Swords on the bottom of the deck. I think that's what happened in the past. They must have really screwed up. They may, must have really messed up. But with the Ten of Swords in the tower, you're shutting them down. And you're, it almost feels like you're chasing them out of your life for good. All right, so yeah, that's what I have for you, Pisces. <laughs> for this reading, for this time period, if this video resonates with you, please like it. Happy birthday to those of you celebrating one more time. And other than that, Pisces, have an amazing the rest of the month.